Home Secretary has just said she's announcing a bespoke humanitarian route. But it's extremely unclear from what she said what the details actually are or who it will apply to. The Ukrainian people are showing great bravery, but we know that there are particularly mothers and young children and elderly parents who have left to find sanctuary. The UK has always done its bit to help those fleeing war in Europe, and it will come as a relief to many people who have been calling for action if the government is prepared to do more. But I have to say to her, why is there so much confusion about this? The Russian invasion began five days ago. Other countries responded with clear sanctuary arrangements immediately. Troops have been gathering since mid-January, and British intelligence has been warning of an invasion for weeks. We've had a weekend of complete confusion. We still don't know what the arrangements are. Why is nothing worked out already? And how on earth is the Home Secretary so poorly prepared for something she's been warned about for so many weeks? Yeah. Well, um, let me just refute every single point that the Honourable Lady has just made. Sorry, the Right Honourable Lady. Well, first of all, um, all intelligence, rightfully so, has pointed to the invasion for a considerable period of time, and the government has been working for that and working, as we know, in terms of the wider government response. If, if I can finish and even just get, even start to respond and answer some of these questions, I think all members of the House will benefit from paying attention and listening. When it comes to visas, when it comes to providing visas and support for Ukrainian nationals in the United Kingdom, our schemes have been put in place for weeks. There is no confusion whatsoever. They've been in place in country switching views, routes, they've been well publicised, they've been well documented. This has been working through our VAC centres. So, Again, perhaps the Honourable Lady would like to listen, and rather than being responsible for some of the misinformation that has been characterised and put out over the weekend, these routes have been open and available. There's been a helpline that has been available for weeks. We've had people working in the region and in country in Ukraine for weeks and weeks, and we closed down our operations, obviously in Kyiv, because we removed staff from there. We've got to make some progress. We are on top of it. Meant to be sure. Uh, you've had six minutes before we've had this. Yvette Cooper, briefly. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. But the Home Secretary said that the routes have been in place, but she's been trying to get people to use existing visas that don't work in a time of crisis. Yeah. So her immigration minister was su suggesting people come and pick fruit yeah. at a time when many people, many people want to stay close to the Ukraine.